Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News, your news update for this Thursday, January the 24th. A couple of things on the go, and first off and foremost, a big shout out to Rob Michaels, uh, Scott and Lisa, and everybody at Star FM for their hospitality yesterday. They allowed me to go on the air for over an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, Hopefully I didn't ruin their ratings, but a big thank you. Uh, it's all part of the empty chair promotion. Uh, to co-host with Rob in the afternoon and uh, talk about some of your pet projects when it comes to things that you're involved in the community, community affairs. It's really cool. Just go to Star FM's website and uh, log in uh, to Empty Chair and uh, just fill out the form and uh, have some fun. Be yourself. So, uh, yeah, again, big thank you for letting, letting me play radio for the first time in a couple of years. A couple of things on the go. We are still keeping an eye on the arbitration process between Canada Post and its workers. UFE Cascades, busy weekend uh, this weekend with volleyball, basketball, as well as rugby and the Hall of Fame basketball game. Yesterday, the big uh, announcement, or the big grand opening, rather, of the Sultan Road Pedestrian Cycling Bridge uh, connecting the U District at uh, UFE in Abbotsford to the rest of the city and the overpass over top of Highway 1. Impressive structure. And uh, again, a big thank you to Councillor Dave Lowen and Patricia Ross for some of their photos that we have been able to put up. Surrey RCMP Victim Services Unit uh, with a really cool new furry edition named, well, you'll, you'll, you'll check out the dog. Uh, Fraser Valley Bandits will be announcing their first signing next week. As well, they have already announced their new uh, mascot named... Uh, well, you'll, you'll read it on Fraser Valley News. I don't want to give it all away. We are going to be following a few other stories uh, today, including uh, some of the quarterly reports that are coming out from those that are involved in cannabis. Now that it is legal, and there are some companies, including one in Ontario, that does sell uh, online to British Columbia that actually made a, a rather decent profit uh, in the first year. So that business story is up and coming on FVN. If there's something we should know about, let us know. FVN at Shaw.ca, Fraser Valley News Network.com. That's where you can find the website. We're also on YouTube as well as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have yourself a great day. And uh, by the way, if you missed it, Chiefs lost last night to Coquitlam. Okay, Coquitlam hasn't won in town in a while. There you go. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News. Have yourself a great day.